Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a clean install of Fedora. Fedora is what Red Hat used to be. And on this you can do start Fedora Live, test the media and start Fedora Live, or you can do troubleshooting from the boot disk. This is a live disk, so you can actually just start it up and run it as a live image directly from the disk. You do not have to do the install. It's a good way to play around with the OS, see whether or not you like it. Or once you get done with the boot, you can actually force it to do an install to the system. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you how to actually do the install after you boot the live image. So naturally, like I selected, you'll want to hit start live image and it'll boot up into Fedora. Red Hat has went more along the lines of the enterprise side meant for data centers and businesses where Fedora is the desktop version for home users and stuff like that. And they do have Fedora server which is intended more for the home user. I haven't done a whole lot with Fedora server yet so I really can't speak a lot about its capabilities and what all it will do. I'm sure like all Linux distros, it's capable of everything. Once you boot it up, it loads up Fedora. You can click Try Fedora or you can click on Install to Hard Drive. Again, this is going to be an install. So we're going to select Install to Hard Drive. Okay, and just like earlier with the Ubuntu install, we're going to want to do English English. So come down here and click Continue. Sorry, I'm having a whole lot of trouble with the mouse functionality. And now it's got the keyboard. As you can see, it's already automatically detected the time zone. If you need to manually change it, you can click on it and change the time zone. On the installation, it's got automatic partitioning selected. The partitioning on this is a little bit different, so we're not going to use the default. I will configure the partition. And then click Done. Now we can set up exactly how we want the partition to set up. We can do LVM, LVM thin provisioning, standard partitions. A lot of times you're going to want to go ahead and do LVM. And then you can set your mount point and set the capacity. On well, second thought, since there's absolutely nothing else going to be on here, I'm going to go ahead and go back. Okay, now that we're back, instead of doing the actual manual setup, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's it's just, the, the process is pretty close to the same for every single different distro of Linux. This is not going to have anything else installed on it. This entire drive is going to be nothing but Fedora 22. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it exactly as it is. I'm not going to worry about encrypting the data. You'll have to set up a passphrase. You can do that if you want the drive encrypted. I'm not too worried about it on this one. I'm just going to go in and create the partitions. So click done. Oh, you can do the LVM thin provisioning. There's 
a bit of difference between the way LVM thin provisioning and standard LVM works along with standard partitions. There are quite a few standard partitions you can use. I, on the other hand, prefer to use LVM with Fedora. And then we're going to add a mount point and set up the desired capacities. See, I need to leave eight gig. So we're going to do twelve gig right here. Twelve gigabyte. Add. And now we need to add a swap partition. Make that eight gigabyte. Add. And as you can see, we now have our partition set up. We have 1.3 gig available. We're going to leave that 1.3 gig alone. Or we can modify it right here and make this 12.35. Hit update settings. Now there's 195.97 megabytes free. That's absolutely fine. You can fine tune things the way you want here. I could have added the 1.35 gig or yeah, 1.35 gig here. Either way, it would have been fine. This is still going to be overkill for the swap file given the fact that I'm going off of double size. So, once you're done putting in your actual configuration, hit done. No valid bootloader target device found. Ah. Uh. One ninety five dot ninety seven. I forgot this with it being an EFI system requires the EFI boot mount point. So we're going to add that. There's now 1.97 megabytes available, and we should be good. As you can see, it's going to do all this. It's going to destroy the original unknown format, set up all the different partitions, so accept changes. And now we're ready to click begin installation. Right here you can actually go in and set up what you want your root password to be. I recommend it being something good. You don't want it to be a super simple password that's very very easy to crack. and you can also create your first user I'm not going to make this user an administrator but I am going to set it up where it requires the password you can go into advanced details if you really want to for the sake of this video I'm not going to this is super simple it's really not very difficult you go into advanced settings you can start messing a few things up if you do want to make the uh, account and administrator you can I do not recommend that that's a lot of what the root account is for
as you can see as well fedora kind of has a little bit more requirement for um the passwords and stuff on like ubuntu the password on ubuntu was let me in on this one i put in let me in it wouldn't let that work so i had to add 101 to the end of course it's stupid that i was able to fool it by putting in 101 but eh, you can't win on all of them the rest of the installation won't really require any user input or interaction at all so from this point feel free to walk away go get something to drink go to the bathroom run to the store if you need to you got plenty of time and you'll be good to go i'll see you in a few once this installation is complete all right as you can see the install is complete so now you got to do is click quit at this particular point you're going to want to remove your install media and reboot generally when you do the reboot it's better to remove the install media that way but in this particular case since I'm doing it on a VM it'll be a little bit different you'll want to do the reboot with the disk in and as soon as it's done rebooting you can remove the disk and get away from the install once it's done and you do the boot you're ready to go into Fedora 22 as you can see there's two different options here that's a rescue option that's the regular boot one select the regular boot hit enter and now it's ready for us to log in for the first time so we select our user account which in this case is test box put in the password I got it wrong. There we go. And here we are booted up into Fedora 22 for the first time. So you can click on activities, there's Firefox, Evolution Email Client, Rhythmbox for MP3s, you got Shotwell for photos, files, and software right here. English United States. Go through the GNOME initial setup. Keyboard US location services on automatic problem reporting is on next connect your online accounts I'm not worried about doing that but you can if you want if you have own cloud Windows Live Facebook Google accounts you can link them all and once you're done click on start using Fedora gives you the little getting started screen you don't necessarily have to worry too much about that come down here to show applications as you can see it has a camera app there's all kinds of functionality you got empathy which is a multi IM client comes packed with LibreOffice and of course there is a lot of other software out there that you can get it also has mapping software massive massive amounts of software out there for Fedora. Fedora has been around for a long time ever since the early days of Red Hat. It is a really good all around operating system. It doesn't quite have the user following that Ubuntu has but it's still rated up there pretty high and it has a lot of business applications because of the enterprise part of it which is still under the Red Hat name overall it's a good linux operating system and i would recommend it for use this information is out there for absolutely everybody as always watch like and share have a great day